Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the holiday Christmas ornament, which you can see one of right here in front of you. Uh, this is a very pretty ornament. It's a lacy design and this is number five in the Christmassy crochet along that is currently being hosted here on my channel and on my blog if you're following along. So thank you so much for joining me. For the ornament today you are going to need approximately 20 to 30 yards of a lightweight yarn. Now in the photos here uh, and the one in front of you and on my blog I did use the shawl in a ball by Lion Brand Yarn. It is a number four weight but uh, it is on the lighter side so if you're going to use a different yarn I recommend using a lightweight yarn. Today in the video to show you how to make the ornament I'm going to use a little bit of Patton's Grace yarn so look for that number three on the label. You're going to need about 20 to 30 yards. You're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook as well as a Christmas ornament with an 8 inch circumference. So this one I just picked up at my local craft store and uh, you can do that or else you can uh, upcycle maybe one that you have at home. You're also going to need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors for finishing off. The free written crochet pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and there will be direct links for these items in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Uh, feel free to take a look around and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, let's, uh, let's get started and learn how to crochet this holiday Christmas ornament together. Our pattern today is worked in rounds. So the first thing you're going to do is make a slip knot and then work a foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to have a total of 30 chain stitches. There's 10, 20, 30. Once you have your foundation chain worked, being careful not to twist the chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch to make a ring. You're now ready to begin round one. To begin you're going to chain three and this counts as a half double crochet stitch and a chain one space. You're then into the same stitch as joining, work one half double crochet stitch. Skip the next stitch and into the next stitch, work one half double crochet, chain one and another half double crochet. Skip the next stitch and into the next one, work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next chain into the next one, work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. When you come all the way around you're going to join into the second chain of your starting chain three and uh, then get ready to start your round two. Once you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the second chain of your starting chain three. Do not turn your work. For round two, you're going to slip stitch into the next chain one space, chain Three. This counts as a half double crochet and a chain one. Then half double crochet into that same chain one space. Skip the next two half double crochet stitches and into your next chain one space work a half double crochet, 
chain one, half double crochet. Skip the next two half double crochet stitches into the next chain one space, work a half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around and when you come back to the beginning, join with a slip stitch into the second chain of your starting chain three. When you com come all the way around in your round two, join with a slip stitch in that second chain. You're then going to repeat round two eight more times. So for rounds three to ten, you're going to slip stitch into that chain one space, chain three, and half double crochet. Skip the next two half double crochets and into the next one, work a half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. So you're going to repeat that until you have a total of 10 rounds, so work eight more rounds of it and uh, then meet me back here. Once you have finished working your 10 rounds, you'll have a piece of fabric that looks like this. You can fasten off and weave in your ends. Once you've done so, you're going to cut two lengths of yarn, about six to eight inches. Then take your crochet and slip it over top of your crochet ornament, like so. You're then going to take the first length of yarn and either at the top or the bottom, you're going to weave the yarn in and out through your V stitches all the way around. So just weave it in and out all the way around. until you meet up with the end once again. Once you've done so, you're going to pull it tight. You'll have a nice gather there up at the top. You can then tie it. I just tie it with a tight little knot right under the top there. and then you can go ahead and weave your ends in and then you're going to repeat the same for the bottom. So take your yarn, weave it in and out around the circumference of the bottom just in and out through your v-stitches until you come to your starting. I went a little bit too far there. there go. You're going to then pull your bottom tight. Like so. And tie it off. Go ahead, weave in your ends, and your holiday Christmas bauble is then ready to hang. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, once again, I invite you to take a look around, hang out a little bit, and subscribe. Be sure to check back tomorrow for our final ornament in the Christmassy Crochet Along. Happy crocheting! Bye!